What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Alibaba with the ticker symbol BABA. -B -A. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So let's take a look at one of my favorite companies and my biggest position in my portfolio, Alibaba. So as I suspected, we did get that bounce up. You can see that there was a gap up on Monday and it led to a little trend. And you can see the uh, bar closed pretty bullish. But then we saw a little sideways action before pulling back uh, later during the week. So Alibaba did have a triple bottom. You can see this was the first low. This was the second low. This was the third low. So that's a very bullish pattern. However, we are in a downtrend, so it doesn't hold that much strength strength to it. Let me put a channel on here. You can see that this is this looks like the channel that Alibaba has been inside of since early December. And we are still stuck inside of it going sideways. You can see before the EMA was kind of pointing down and now it's starting to flatten out. So that's just a telltale sign that we are kind of like in a range and Alibaba might just be going sideways for a while. So we did get that pop up. We're seeing this pullback. Uh, looks a little bearish because the price action cannot close above the EMA. We did close above it for uh, a day and then we started selling off and now we started to close below it. So this um, this isn't a very bearish sign, but it's some bearish clues. But if we do get a gap, uh, if we do get another push up or a pop up, since we were at the lower side of the range, uh, we could get a second leg up right to the upper side of the range right at the 136 or 137 level so that's a potential target for alibaba um if i was trading this i would not be entering anywhere near this uh dashed line which is the midline this is where you get chopped into pieces this is where we can get um bre uh, fail breakouts on either side so we can go up a little bit we can go down a little bit uh this is where it gets very choppy uh you want to just buy at the low sell at the highs kind of deal so you want to stay away from the middle so the middle is very hard to predict but looking at this move up and this pullback there's a possibility to get that second leg up to the 136 137 level if we start rolling over and baba loses its footing then we could come back to fill in this gap that it created and uh, reach the 115 level and from there we'll probably even reach the 112 level once again uh, if we do do that there's a possibility we probably get a break outside of this range Maybe just a failed breakout and enter possibly the 109, 108 level. So that's the bad sign of Alibaba. If it goes back down again, let's take a look at a measured move. Then this could be the first leg down. And if this is just the second uh, correction, then we can make the second leg down to the $99 level. So we don't want Alibaba to go that low. Um, I'm expecting another leg in either direction so we're gonna have to wait and see let me zoom out on the chart you can see the downtrend is still intact uh, i just want to take a look at it to see how far we are to the resistance side of the channel because since we bounced from support uh, alibaba is slowly working its way to the resistance side and this is the channel that i am referring to you can see this downtrend channel hasn't been in place since pretty much October 2020. So even if, if we stay in a downtrend to this October of this year, that'll be a two year downtrend. So that's a very uh, bearish market or bearish for Alibaba. Let me fix this channel. It's a little crooked. Let's go ahead and make it yellow so we can still see the range. So you can see Alibaba is starting to flatten out uh, just like all the other Chinese stocks. Um, we're gonna have to wait and see what it wants to do but we are maybe about a few weeks to a month out um, on the trend that Alibaba is continuing to reach the resistance side of the channel and we're gonna have to see what it wants to do here are we gonna get a break outside and or are we gonna just gonna get a break outside and just slowly reverse back down so we'll have to wait and see but Alibaba is kind of boring uh, it's just taking its time there's a lot of other stocks that are moving pretty fast but we do have earnings coming up it looks like um, it was February 4th. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, this is February 7th. Let me click on it. So it looks like February 7th. Um, I don't know how accurate this is, 
uh, but we have earnings coming up probably this month for Alibaba so we could see a big swing up or swing down um, in either direction um, if we're at the lower side of the range there's a stronger possibility to gap up but if we do make this measured move then there's a there's a I think there's a higher possibility for Alibaba to gap down uh, just because we're at resistance so we'll have to wait to see what Alibaba does um, during the meantime so that's pretty much everything I have on the daily chart just to summarize we did have a micro channel working lower you can see that it holds three price bars inside of it three days of price action and then there was a break outside the channel uh, which shows signs of weakness we did get that last push down before the market bounced at support to create a triple bottom we gapped up on monday led to a small little rally into tuesday and wednesday uh, we did get that pullback during later the week and now we're just waiting to see if alibaba is going to get that second leg up to the upper side of the range or just break down to fill in this gap and continue lower um there is um quite a few time uh, uh, quite a long time till we reach the resistance side of the channel which normally price does if we bounce from the support side so i see alibaba maybe coming back over here in um, end of this quarter or the beginning of the second quarter so that's probably when we'll maybe see the downtrend wrap up. Um, as soon as we get a break outside this yellow channel and a move to a new low, then the sooner we can see a uptrend form. So let's go ahead and wrap this up on the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for Alibaba. And like I stated in my prior Alibaba videos that we could be in a range or a congestion because of the multiple doji bars, which are an incision. So um, we, that's what we're getting. We're just kind of going sideways. So we were at the lower side of this range. So there's a possibility to continue higher, but we don't have to. And if the buyers don't buy up the market and we start seeing a pullback, then we're going to probably drop back down to the 112 level. So it's just all depending on what the market wants to do next week. Um, eventually I do expect a breakout side of this sideways action. And if we do get a breakout side, and I'm not talking about a little wick you can see that this little wick of this candle it is outside of the line that i drew which is the top of the range that's a failed breakout you can see there's a failed breakout here a failed breakout here another one right here i mean an actual breakout where it goes a decent amount if we do get that where are we gonna how far can we go well let's take a look at a measured move because this range de definitely looks like it's um, accurately drawn so if we do get a breakout side of the range and it is successful we can reach the 158 level if that's to the upper side. If we do get a breakdown, probably maybe during earnings, we can reach the $89 level. So there's some big drops right there for Alibaba. We did uh, form some type, of, some type of triple bottom at prior resistance. You can see that the prior all-time high for Alibaba, we did pull back to it. So we are kind of bouncing off this level. So we're going to see if this holds or not. So just a waiting game um just expect more more sideways action even if we do go higher or lower um, before earnings so that's pretty much everything i have for alibaba thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since this might be a surprise wake alert leave a comment down below on uh, where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets lastly i appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since i want to deliver great content to you guys See you next time and bye.